Yes, hello folks and welcome. George here with Killer Hearts to discuss Convolver, the latest addition to our ecosystem of stellar audio effects. We're going to talk a little bit about the overall concept, the features of our Convolver, the included factory impulse responses, and of course hear some of the sounds this thing can help you make. So strap in, buckle up, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, obviously, and let's get Convolving. Many of you already know what a convolution plugin does. There are lots of different levels on which one could try and explain the maths here, but for now let's just say it smooshes one sound through another in such a way as to give your sound some of the character and shape of another pre-recorded sound. What convolution is really good at is mimicking the effect of a system, whether that's a microphone or a speaker or a filter or even an acoustic space. If you record the response of that system to an audio impulse, essentially sending a short burst of white noise through it and recording what comes out, you can use that impulse response to make any input audio sound like it's going through that same system. So let me show you what I mean. You can actually load these impulse responses as regular audio samples in Phaseplant. So let's hear the sound of one short loud bang in York Minster. It's a big church in England, I've been there, it's wicked. And it sounds like this. This is just a recording of a bang echoing and decaying away in York Minster. It's got a certain amplitude envelope, a certain length to its tail, a certain frequency response, different frequencies decaying at different rates, and so on. And what I want to do is apply those characteristics to my snare drum so it sounds like the snare was recorded in York Minster too. So I open Convolver, select that impulse response, and it goes from sounding dry like this, straight to this. And it's the same thing with other systems, like let's take a guitar cabinet. Good guitar cabinets are very imperfect speakers, and they all reproduce sound in their own characteristically flawed way. So again, in Phaseplant, the same white noise burst comes out sounding very different through all these different cabinets, with their different sizes and shapes and materials and speaker cones and so on. So taking a digitally recorded directing guitar sound and using Convolver to send it through a cabinet immediately makes it sound real. I especially like what happens when you push some distortion before the convolver, because without the cabinet this sounds all artificial and kind of buzzy. But the convolver softens that off in a lovely organic way, just like a real guitar amp and cabinet would. So that's what a convolver does, but what does our specific convolver do? What are the features? Well, it's a major pillar of the Kilohertz ethos that any given plugin should have enough of the right controls and features to be exciting, inspiring, and genuinely useful, but not so many as to be distracting or confusing. So again, listening to the snare through a real-world reverb, you can adjust the tone, the brightness of the output. You can feed some of the convolved signal back into the processor, which is cool. And you can adjust the wet-dry mix of the effect, fully wet, fully dry, or somewhere in between. You can add pre-delay in milliseconds or synchronized beat divisions. And then you can play around with the sample itself, the impulse response recording. You can have it fade in or fade out. You can trim it front or back, for example, to adjust the length of the tail. You can even stretch it in time, which obviously affects both the length and the pitch of the impulse response for some pretty creative effects. And finally, this button flips the sample for fun reversey stuff. So actually a lot of options in a nice, simple layout, but where it really comes to life is in the wider Kilohertz ecosystem. Let's say you wanted to post-modulate one of these reverbs. If we take this xylophone-ish sound and open up a SnapHeap host plugin, we can make two parallel lanes, put Convolver on one of them, full mix, and we've got a wet lane and a dry lane. Now we can, for example, modulate the gain of that reverb. or distort it, or add a flanger, 
and blend everything subtly into the background. Or we can set up a sort of ducking system where the reverb gets out of the way of the dry signal coming in. Or maybe you wanted to biamp a bass, sending low frequencies through a bass cab and higher frequencies through a guitar cab. Let's do that in multipass. Two separate convolvers, two separate cabinets, adjust the cutoff frequency, and that's it. Before and after. So as you can see, within the context of the wider ecosystem, Convolver is a lot more than a simple what you see is what you get convolution plugin. But any Convolver will rise and fall on the range and quality of its impulse responses. The factory library in our Convolver was largely contributed by our spectacular user community and carefully whittled down in-house to a neat perfect 300 or so impulse responses, which, without being overwhelming, gives a good taste of the wide range of effects a Convolver can achieve. Besides the reverbs and guitar cab simulations we've already heard, there are filters like this, 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 this. glitches like this, 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 phase manipulations like this, 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 delays like this, 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 this. And even little synth bumps like this. 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 And if there's an area you're especially interested in, like guitar cabs for example, you can add more impulse responses, either your own recordings or third party IRs, by moving the audio files into the relevant folder on your computer, or even just by dragging and dropping into the interface, like this. So hopefully you can see and hear what a terrific thing this is. We're seriously excited to finally add it to the range. You can buy it as a standalone plugin, as part of our toolboxes, professional and above, or get it with everything else in our Killer Hearts subscription. $9.99 a month and a $100 voucher back at the end of every year. I think that's the way I'd do it, to be honest. And if you're not sure, there's a free trial available too. Check it out. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel for more great sound design and general audio stuff. Here are some more videos for you to watch, and I wish you a thoroughly wonderful day. Thank you.